Malfurion versus Valera. All right, rogue. It depends, but we should be able to get on board fast enough to really scare them. And I think this is the nuts hand, because I think all we have to do this turn is just play double and big in, and then next turn ships cannon coin corsair, and we should get a five five patches, plus two cannon shots. <laughs> so. I don't think Rogue is going to be able to do anything about this. Like, no version of Rogue could stop a board like this. Oh my god. Wait, so if we coined right now and played Corsair, how much stats would we have on board turn one? One, two, three. We have four, four. Um, plus one, two. We'd have five, six, plus five, five. We'd have what? Ten, eleven worth of stats? That's crazy. It's ten, eleven worth of stats, and it still makes sense to not put it on board, I think. Tempo this, yeah. I don't think he can. We even we even destroyed his weapon that he had going for him. Nope. Nope. Got what he deserved, Chad. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. I think two Gibberlings is pretty good. And I think Voracious Reader is honestly good enough to keep as well. Ship's Cannon is a two cost card with setup, and we're trying to play Voracious Reader quickly, so I think we actually toss Ship's Cannon looking for a cheaper card. And Deckhand's perfect. Have we transcended beyond hyper aggro? No, but this is definitely like as hyper aggro as it gets for sure. Wow, another power of the wild is insane. Well, that's not exactly a spreading plague play, if you know what I mean. Dude, but, I mean, what would Plague really do against a board full of, like, 3-3s? Three threes? It doesn't doesn't stop me if I have Reader, you know? Free of that blasted tower. Oh. How do you like the current meta? Uh, I think it's not too bad. You know, people don't like Dark Lair, which is fair. I agree with Malfurion them. I don't like it either, but... Malfurion. Dark Lair is beatable. The and the other decks are a lot of fun, so... Must be preserved. I think Neophyte is good against Druid, but, like, you gotta wait on it. So, not really something to keep in the mulligan. Honestly, Ship's Cannon without a Pirate is kind of risky, too. I kind of want, like, Embiggen and a Pirate and buffs, stuff like that. I like the one mana infestation. That card seems so bad to me, I don't understand why people like it so much. Yo Jack, my wife got stung by a stingray today, one of the dangers of California. Ouch, is she alright? I, I hope so. Go. Give me my magic. Okay. 
bacon. Summon the saplings. Ship scanning. It's a big boy, too. I assume by the lull that, uh, that she must not be that hurt. But I, you never know, I suppose. She's all right, save for the giant hole in her foot. Well, you know, feet aren't that important. You don't need feet to play Hearthstone, so. Sounds like she's fine. Which is good to hear. Jack, do you think having a second kidney is that important? Can I sell it for some Hearthstone packs? Um, if someone's willing to trade you one for one, like uh, a mega bundle for kidney, I'd probably do it, but... So, I don't know, Shaman is going to be Battlecry based? I don't know. Like, not really. So I don't think it makes sense to keep Webboard. Well, that's probably good for us. I mean, isn't all that scary, though? Like, even if they get down one big guy early, I'm not super scared of that. We've got five on board, so Savage Roar gives us 12. So we did 18. So I think we should play Brigand this turn. I don't think he's about to play any Battle Cry minions. So we get the damage in now and we'll have people next turn if he can't clear. Any tips for going to a wedding? Yeah, honestly, um, what I did is, and what I would highly recommend is uh, speak to someone who's been to a lot of weddings and ask them what you should do. Because, um, when I went to one recently, uh, with my family, uh, I asked my mom, like, for everything exactly what to do, because I had no clue. And I'm so glad I did, because there was so much, like, weird stuff that you're just supposed to know for no reason. Uh, so, just ask... <laughs> Ask somebody who knows what they're doing, and they'll tell you exactly what to do. And of course, like, you should definitely wear, like, a suit, and they'll tell you all of this stuff. But... <laughs> Is this for real? Wow, I drew a card too. I am the in the night. You win this Malfurion versus Valera. Watch your back. I must protect the wild. Make sure the gangway is big enough. You don't want to get key hauled for messing up. Yes, of course those are words that I definitely know. 
and you would not want that. Trust me. All right, Rogue, I think we can just kill them. So Savage Roar is a bit of a risky keep, but I'm feeling lucky and it paid off, so. Isn't Roar bait? Uh, yeah, usually it's bait, but I think against Rogue we might be able to get away with it just because they have literally no way to heal. So Rogue is a is a is a class that you actually like can race for health total. Because their board control is just smacking your minions with their stuff. And if you make that really bad for them, Savage Roar becomes actually pretty decent. Q has been pretty bad recently. I think people just aren't playing all that much. See, like, we don't have to kill him with Savage Roar, though we might have. No, not quite. But now that he's down this low, he just loses, because he's never going to be able to heal. And his only way of killing these guys is with his face. So, it's over. Blood and blood and blood. <clears throat> In those first few seconds, are you hoping it's Ice Ice Baby or Under Pressure? Definitely going to be Under Pressure for me. Oh, I guess. it goes uh i don't know actually no clue i'm clearly not the right person to ask about that i must protect oh my god i think we got i think we got a dark glare guys i think we got a dark glare hmm Oh my god. That was the best and the only good card in that situation. A little agony goes a long way. He can't cheat enough mana, he's gonna die. I mean, Corsair would have been better, but that's a win against Dark Glare, boys.